So now, after we've completed our fraction distillation and we have our three samples, we are now going to use our gas chromatography, right here, to analyze our data. So we're looking for our percent composition when doing the gas chromatography. So here, this is our machine, our GC. So we're gonna start by plugging it in. So here is our power source. We're gonna plug it in. The bottom, we're gonna use this connector to connect our LabQuest through the USB. So here we have our USB. We're gonna go to our USB portion, plug in our LabQuest. And then we're gonna power on our GC, pushing this button. So now you can see that it is now on. The red dot shows that it is not ready to be used yet. So, so we, we have to wait for some time mm -hmm. till the, it reaches on normal temperature and then it will show the green color, right? So these are the three fractions which we have collected. Fraction A, Fraction B and Fraction C. Remaining fraction we have um, these are the three fractions which we are going to run in the DC structure. Okay, so we will come back after 10-15 minutes once our DC will be ready. So after 15-20 minutes, we're going to come here to get our DC ready. So I'm going to start by pressing play. It's going to pop this up and then I'm going to press done. And now it says do not inject until the GC is ready. So now we're going to wait. While I was doing that, I'm going to grab my syringe. And I'm going to clean it and rinse it with my sample. First, I'm going to use acetone. So I'm going to get a little bit of acetone, about 3.3, .3, max of 5. That's the most. I'm going to get another. Do this about three times with acetone. Now, now that I've done that with acetone, I'm going to get sample A, and I'm going to do three times rinse with sample A. So, I'm going to insert, get some of the sample, and rinse. That was one. I'm gonna do this three times. My last rinse. And we should not remove the needle all the way out, right? Nope. Just only a small amount. Okay, so now I'm going to actually get my sample. I got 0. 0.4. 0. 0.4. And now we can also see that the GC is ready. Okay, inject and select simultaneously. So GC is ready. Therefore, I'm going to insert my and needle. green light is also there. Slowly insert. And now I'm needle going Needle must be straight, right? Yes. Now I have to do this simultaneously. I'm going to insert and press collect at the same time. What do we have to select? Collect. Mm -hmm. So here I'm going to press collect. And I'm going to insert at the same time. So I'll do it on three. One, two, three. The needle. And the GC has to go. There it is right there. Now oh, this tiny mm -hmm. line.
Oh, now I'll beat this game. So this is the fraction A. Two thousand milli volt signal. We'll see if any other mixture is there. We have to wait till it's complete. Here you can see there is second. Oops. Second line is also, second peak is also coming. So it means we have fraction A and fraction B together. That is very really small. Same way we have to inject B and C and it's almost done. So now that we're done, we're going to now press stop. So this is what we ended with. So now we're going to now go and take this and we're going to print it out. Move from the USB. How I'm going to print it is I'm going to click file. I'm going to say print. I'm going to say the graph. And then I'm going to insert a name. That's the printer graph title. Simply just going to call this A. And then I'm going to go and print it. So here we are at the printer. I'm going to grab the USB and I'm going to insert it into the LabQuest. As you can see, we already labeled our graph title. And next I'm going to press print. And now you have to patiently wait and the bar will fully load with blue. As you can see, it's starting on this side. When it fills all the way up, then your paper should print. Yeah. Great, this is the fraction A. Now we have to do fraction B and C. Okay, so now we've done section A. So now I'm going to get sample B here. So we are going to run sample B now. So I'm going to start by rinsing it. So I'm going to give it another wipe. I'm going to get about four to five. So we have to rinse B first. I'm going to get about 0 0.4. 0 0.4. Okay. And as you can see, the GC is ready. GC is ready. I'm going to slowly insert the needle. And now I'm going to simultaneously press and insert. So insert and press at the same time. Record same thing. So one, two, three. There we go. Yeah, now this uh, you can see. 
sample is coming so it takes at least 3 to 4 minutes to run the sample all the way in the GC and to appear in the lab quest we have to be patient so this is after 5 minutes if you here you can see in the B portion we have more second peak than the first peak now it's time to stop great so this is the b fraction and we will print and then we will do the same thing for fraction number c right to rinse and then inject and then collect the print okay great let's do the printing process so here this is our fraction number a spectra this is our fraction number b spectra and now here you can see we are running fraction was c this is c it's almost done and single peak very small amount of b so we'll print this as well so now here we have all three fractions spectra fraction a spectra fraction B spectra and this is our fraction C spectra it's time to analyze to find out percentage composition so now it's time to analyze the data here you can see uh, we started in our previous video where we take the 2 butanone 10 ml and 2 butanone 20 ml total it was 30 ml and we collected the fraction a 2.1 ml fraction b 19 ml and fraction c 2.4 ml so using this data you have to calculate the percentage recovery so please uh, do this with your own and the next part of this uh, experiment was to calculate the percentage composition of each peak or butanone and pentanone so using gas chromography of fraction ABC collect data from fractional distillation so here you uh, can see if you remember this graph fraction A have two peaks and here I have measure the height of this peak from the bottom which is 12.8 uh, centimeter the first peak is for 2 butanone second peak is for 2 pentanone so first peak has height 8.8 12.8 centimeter and if we take the half of the height which is width at half height which is called w half is uh, i measure this width which is 1.1 centimeter so height is 12.8 centimeter half width is 1.1 centimeter same way we got the data for the 2 pentanone second peak height is 7.4 centimeter and half width is 0 0.9 centimeter so from these two height and half width once you will multiply then you will get the data for the area of this peak and then using that two area of this peak you can calculate the percentage composition of each peak from fraction A what about the fraction B fraction B has height first peak 5.5 centimeter for 2 butanone and half width is 0 0.5 centimeter 2 pentanone have 12.3 centimeter which is larger in amount 
so b fraction have more pentanone and half width is 0 0.8 centimeter so this is the b fraction this was the a fraction and now the third fraction which is the fraction c here you can see um, butanone is very very tiny so it is kind of almost negligible to measure so i will say approximately two to three percent otherwise mostly you are getting two pentanone and its height is 11 centimeter and half width is 1.8 centimeter so this um, fraction have mostly 98 percent two pentanone but you need to find out the area of this peak as well so this was the our second part of fractional distillation um, portion where we got the data so to calculate the uh, percentage recovery we know that the initial volume which was 30 ml and we got the fraction a and b and c how many volume we got it so use this data to cal calculate the percentage recovery and then we analyze each data through uh, gc spectra and i calculated the height and width at half height for each peak and using these spectra you will calculate the percentage composition of each peak so do it this with yourself or with your instructor and thank you